them next is there's the legs they want cutting down to size on the saw table um, the tops scrape off the glue and then get them through the surface planer get them all leveled up all the same size and then I can bomb them together to finish Okay, that's the legs ready. So we've got um, quite a few of the parts ready now. Um, we've got here the uh, top, the wooden top, and then the final top is going to be glass, but this is the secondary top. Um, three pieces here, the panels, which are for the sides, um, the four legs, and the four stretchers for the bottom, and the three draw fronts. Um, all we need now is to draw boxes times three and the plywood bases for them. And then we can start going back through it all and manufacturing it exactly. Well, remember I said things evolve as we go along with me when I'm building things like this, which is why I don't stick to plants. Well, here's a prime example of that. Remember I said top, final top is going to be glass. The intention was it was going to be simply just glass floating on the four posts, the four corners, the legs. Um, but once I put this to practice and had a look at it in relation to everything else, it just seemed too flimsy and it just wasn't doing the job I wanted it to do. So, evolution, I've made a frame. A good, solid, chunky, inch and a quarter, 32 mil, 33 mil thick. Um, and the glass sits into this very nicely and that will just sit on the final top or be patent as a final top. Very simple to make. Stick around, I'll show you how I did it. Um, and as you can see, I'm then going to rebate this into the top to make it flush. Now, typically, when you're doing a top like this, what you would do is glue it all together, let it cure. When it's fully finished, then you would router out that rebate. Unless everything's nice and clean. However, do that and you end up with round corners. Now you can chisel it out. But it's pain. Pine don't look pretty when chiselled, never does. So we don't want to chisel it if we don't have to chisel it. We're going to avoid chiselling it, we won't chisel it. So what I'm going to do is run that through the salt table and take it out. Now, before I assemble it, and because we've got mitre corners, we can come off. If we didn't have mitre corners, if we're going to butt joint that, then that saw blade would travel beyond and into its joint. Right, what I'm doing here is just determining the layout so that I can um, start to work on these legs. I want to rebate out these legs um, on two sides 
for the front to go in, for the side panels, the back panel and such. I'm thinking while I've got this router station set up, I might as well just change this bit per round of a bit and get these um, draw fronts finished off. Was it a round of a bit I used or an OG bit? No, round of it was. Yes, yes, round of it. Okay, good. So, I think it's round over. Right, well that's not all we've got time for today. Um, so this video is going to get wound up, but I'm sure the next one's going to be available by the time you've watched this one. If not, keep watching, it won't be long until it is. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.